yes okay so so we have one small topic that is pending like license right sap license sap license so what is mean by license here so why we need license so here we are using the sap product right sap product we are using so that's the reason we need to pay some amount to, to sap sap means our vendor who is vendor mean vendor means sap sap is our vendor why because he provided the softwares he provided the application to us so that sap sap is the organization which we have to pay some amount why because we paid we purchased the software and everything from it's not the free software right why because if any issue occurs in tomorrow so they are the responsible and also we have to contact them as per the agreement between client and vendor so then we have to contact them we have to raise the tickets we have to work with them so we have to apply the patches upgrades all kind of work we have to so we have to do right so that's the reason in sap we have to so apply the license sap license you have to apply you see when we are logging to the sap system so in our sap system it's saying that your sap license is going to expire right that is the error we are getting if you see here when you are logging to the system see your li license expiration date so 26 means in the next 10 days so the license is going to expire so what exactly happens if the my license is expired here so you cannot log into the system that is the thing so if you are not able to log in means you cannot do any business any you cannot enter anything in the system right so that's the thing so if now if system will not allow users to log into the sap system right so that is the the main aim of the license so we definitely we need a license here so to apply the license we have to go to yes license transaction code yes license transaction code so you have to go to this transaction code and we have to apply the license in the system s license is the transaction code here we have to apply the license in the system first of all we need to check the check in the system what is the license we have so go to the yes license is the transaction code here you can see oh here you can see the license is about to expire we have the temporary license only it's expiring soon so we have the other license which is, which is not correct actually so delete the other licenses other system licenses so it's not required not required the expired license are not required okay see here i'm just deleting the others here so that is the old license that is not required but we have only one license valid license that is available up to so 10 days only okay whenever you install the new system there are the two types of licenses as we have two types of licenses in the sap system two types of licenses in sap one is the temp license means temporary license second one is the permanent license permanent license so temporary license is valid only 90 days after the installation okay when you install the sap system by default when you install the sap system by default you will get the one license right one license that is the so one one license you you will get in the system right so that is the temporary license so that is valid up to 90 days only within this 90 days within 90 90 days so you have to renewal you have to apply the permanent license you have to apply the permanent license in the system you have to apply the permanent license in the system right that is what you have to perform it in the system so if you don't perform if you don't apply the permanent license so if you don't apply the permanent license what exactly happens your system you cannot log into the your sap system you cannot do any functionalities either the basis key either the security no one no one cannot log into the system 
yeah so we have similar concept in database as well so every product there is a license right even your mobile phones also we have the some agreement some warranty right if you purchase the some mobile phone from the company so they will give the some warranty period within that warranty period if something happens so they are the responsible same as like in the if you if you purchase the license into your product then we have the we have the so license if you purchase the license we have the license then so they are responsible until one year two years three years they are responsible if they have in why because we are using their product we are using their product okay so here we in the sap level also we have the same concept okay temporary license 90 days you can use it so after the 90 days system will be locked from the operations okay you cannot do anything here even you cannot log in as well <laughs> so permanent license within this 90 days you have to purchase you have to apply the you have to apply the license in sap marketplace you have to apply the license permanent license you have to apply in service marketplace you have to apply it right the standard license you have to apply it. okay the standard license is valid so up to end of the world double line double line and also you will get the maintenance license as well maintenance license that is also valid only 90 days only the maintenance license so that is not a problem so maintenance license is for the when you are upgrading your systems when you are applying the patches that time this maintenance license is required so but if you have the standard license already there in the system then if you have standard license already there in the system so it is the it, it will not expire why because you have applied the standard license so two license in the permanent license two categories will be applied in the systems one is the standard one standard license that is called the standard license and the maintenance license so maintenance license valid up only 90 days again so this one you have to renewal every three months once you have to apply the maintenance activity but it's not mandatory when you are applying the spac sap upgrades or something that time you need to apply the this license you have to apply it okay so how to generate how to apply them go to the service marketplace here go to the library marketplace so then, then you can use the so license. You can use the license here. You can use the license. Go to the service marketplace. Then there is a request keys. You can see here request keys. Software downloads option we know, right? Request keys. Keys means so then you will get the this option here. Here you can choose the systems. Request the keys. Here you can choose the system which license you want to apply. So you can choose the installations here. You can choose the installation, which installation, which SAD, what is that? So all these things you can see it from here, right? So what is the installation? Suppose ECP, if you don't find ECP, then here search it. Then you will see the ECP system in the list, ECP system in the list here, ECP system in the list here. So like that, we have to apply. If you don't find, we have the search option. So otherwise, you will get the option here. You will get the, you can see in which installation number you have the systems here. Which installation number you have previously requested the, so installation. So, so the licenses tab, okay? So licenses we have. Okay, let me go to the first. So support.sap.com, go to the request keys, request keys. So then you will see the option like, you will see the option like, see here, you will see the option to register the license, to request the license here. So request, request, request the license here. So maybe you want to select the installation, select that our installations list, or you can select it. So you will get the list of installations here, means which installation so there is a ERP, right? So ERP installation, we need to choose it here. The product, which product you are using. So how can we know which product I am working here? If we go to the system status, if we go to the system status here, you will see the, so what is the product version we are using here? Go to the installation product. 
we are using the ERP product we are using. Okay. So what is the timestamp we are logged into the systems? So all the information, all the information here it is recorded. All the information is available. If someone asks you question, what is the what what system you logged into the system? What is the component versions and everything? Then you need to go to the system status. Then select the system data components. Then you will see the what is the this components and what is the this release version? What is the SP level? Our next topic is the this one only. So SP level then do what are the product versions we have in our systems all will be here okay all will be available in this systems right so then you can choose it here maybe it's loading So basically here, so temporary license, you can see type is the temp license. So it is valid, but up to how many? So you can see here, it is going, it is valid only few months, 90 days only. 90 days only it is valid, the temporary license. <laughs> Recently only, we done the some changes, that is the one, it is valid only few months. <clears throat> yes, so you can see here. So, ERP, okay, select the ERP systems. Then, here under the ERP, just you can click on the suppose if system is not there here, then you can click on the add system here. Okay, so select the product version, which product, which product you are using, ERP, right? Then select the product. Suppose in case your system is not existing in our SAP, then how to register the system here? Okay, so then version, ERP 6.0 version here, we have, right? Then what is the SID we have? So ECP, in case your system is not exist in the year, then what you have to do like, this is the way we have to need to register the system here. Okay, so what is the type of system here? So training systems. What is the database here? Right, ANA database. So what is the operating systems? So Windows. What is the infra infrastructure? It's like private on premise here. So all these details you need to fill it. All these details you need to fill in the systems. Your SID, your training systems, test of training systems, and all these details you have to fill it. And click on the continue option. Click on the continue option. Then select the license key. Add the license key. When you are adding the license key, you will get the standard license. You have to get it. That is valid up to end of the world. So here in your system, you need to enter the hardware key. So hardware key, how will you get? See here, this is the hardware key. You need to get this hardware key here. Then enter here. Click on the add here click on the add see here the license is generated one is the permanent license second one is the so maintenance license we got it right maintenance license we got in the we got from the system see here then you can see license is generated then download the license simple then license is generated so this is the license this is the hardware key this is the installation number this is the system member see so one is the one is the permanent license. Second one is the maintenance license. It got generated. This it will be expired in the next three months. It will be expired, right? So that is the way we have applied the generated the license. First of all, we have added our system. We have seen our system is not exist in our system here. In the list of our system is not exist here. That's the reason. So we have added the our system here. That's the reason we have added our system here. Then we have added our system here. Then we have generated the license here. We have generated the license here. That's the thing we have done it here. Okay, here you know, right? Now you know, you know how to request, how to add the systems. The only thing is you need access to 
the service marketplace then go to the instruct request keys select the system if the system is exist same you can download it then if system is not exist then you need to add the system same as like how we added same way you need to add the system same way you need to add the system into the system see here add system here you need to add the system here you need to add the system here then that will be downloaded that will be downloaded this is the way we need to we need to do the so uh, we need to add the system here so now you license got generated now go to the s yes, license transaction code just click on the install button install the new license then here you can see ecp so then you can see here the license is installed but it's we got the error why means our installation number is wrong in the license file installation number is wrong in the license file so the installation number is this is the installation number right this is the installation number so then but in the file there is a mismatch then in the file there is a mismatch it's a common error for so sometimes we may get the common error so what is the installation number here what is the system number 2 so this is the see here this is the system number here this is the system number see here 5912 so here is a different system number different system number so i am changing the manual i am changing the in number i am changing the serial number i changed the number here then go to the here then apply the license here okay so but installation number is this one but there is already installation number okay what we have to do we need to why because this is the old one so we need to delete this one then click on installation then in this one see here two sap license keys are installed here okay so see here now everything is in the green so see here license expire is the permanent it won't expire it now so two licenses one is the standard license expire installed and the maintenance license also installed it is is valid now it is valid now so this license it won't expire in the systems now this license it won't expire okay so this is the way we need to apply it so what why we have faced this type of errors means already previous installation is the different installation number different system number already installed so that's the reason we we got the alert so that's the reason we deleted that first of all then we applied the new license see here now everything is in the green green now license it won't expire it so now if you if sap team wants to connect it if you want to if you want to perform the upgrades it will work now why because we have the maintenance license and standard license are applied here so no issues with the system now okay now you won't face any issues in the system or you won't get any alerts so how to apply the now how to now when you are logging to the system then you won't get any errors or anything here see here so now i am logging to the system will i get any license expiration issue no right i won't get anything now okay, because so here i won't get anything see here i have not received anything so yesterday today last few days back you you guys are receiving the license expiration right now you won't get the anything so why because we have applied the permanent license using the yes license transaction code so we know how to request the license how to add the systems and how to renew the license and everything right this is the way we have to request the license and we have to apply the license in the systems okay so this is the so wait so any questions from anyone here just you need to remember the s yes license transaction code then install the license install the license option you need to remember okay so any questions from anyone if no questions then uh, uh we can wind up the call